Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to have your Namlock enabled on startup. Uh, I don't know if it's a feature of Windows 10 or uh, we had this problem previously as well, but when you start your computer, um, you have your Namlock disabled uh, by default and now I'm going to show you how to enable it so that you don't have to turn it off all the time you uh, start your computer. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, open start, start typing rec edit, like R E G E D I T, rec edit. Uh, a lot of you will probably f be familiar with that. It's a registry modification. Uh, well, all your registries are in here and you can change some values which change uh, different things, obviously. Okay, now in order to enable your Namlog on startup, First, what you need to do, go to HK current user. You definitely have the same uh, folders as I do, at least the main ones. So HK current user, control panel, keyboard. And on the right side, you have four uh, things, default initial keyboard indicators, keyboard delay and keyboard speed. What we need to do is go to initial keyboard and uh, change its value to two. I have value two already, which is good. It means I have my Namlog enabled on startup, but uh, by default, usually it is either zero, one, or some crazy number to 200,000 something, something. So just double click on that, press to okay. And that's it for me. That's all I had to do. And from that moment on, after restart, I had my Namlog enabled. So there you go. But for some people, I've learned that this is not everything they needed to do. Uh, you need to do some additional step. So first do what I just did, reboot. If it helped, it's over. Uh, you have your Namlog enabled, <laughs> enabled and um, congratulations. If not, come back here and open HK users or you can do it like from the beginning all but that's maybe just unnecessary, unnecessary steps for me it worked just by the HK current user okay so go to default if that doesn't work for you uh, well HK users when you open that you have default and a lot of well couple s dash something s15 s15 these are supposed to be other users on your computer even though on my computer I have only one user and that's me so it's kind of strange but I mean, there's obviously some reason, I'm not sure <laughs> what is that, but it doesn't matter right now. So what you need to do, go to default and do exactly the same thing. Control panel, keyboard, initial keyboards, change that. You see, that's the number I was talking about, 2 million or 20 million something. And uh, change it to two, okay. S15, same thing. Control panel, keyboard, two. We have two there already, great. S1519, again, same thing. Somewhere there is a possibility that there won't be um, keyboard or there won't be, well, there should be control panel all the time, but if it's not there, if the path is not there, control panel, keyboard, I have it everywhere too. Okay, that's fine. If it's not there, just leave it. Just leave it and go ahead to the next one. Oh my God, there's a lot. Here, what is that control panel? Do we have a control panel here? Uh, here, <laughs> control? No, it's not here. See, so that's the case. I mentioned, so just leave it be. Ah, uh, that was the last one. Right. So that's it. We changed it everywhere. So first step: current user control panel keyboard. Change the initial keyboard indicators to two, and it should be good to go. But if it doesn't help or you want to make sure uh, that uh, the Namlog will be enabled, just go to HK users and open each and every one of the folders there, starting with default S15, S15, 19, 20. Depends how many users you have or uh, whatever, because I have only one user as I mentioned, but yeah, just basically open that and the same path always. Control panel, keyboard, initial keyboard indicators, put number two everywhere, double click, to enter, close regate and now reboot and you will have Namlock on. So 
that's it guys from my side thanks for watching and have a great day